Hey everyone, it's 2017. Another really crappy hay year. Running about four tenths of a ton on a lot of this acreage. Not much hay out here, not very many bales out here. And faced uh, with possibly buying hay this year to get through. But we're gonna put up what we can because that's still cheaper than buying it. Mowing again this year with TM 1400. Pulling it with 4630 John Deere. Seems to be a winning combination. So, um, this hay is probably maximum height of around, oh, probably around a foot. Short crested, a lot of it's not even headed out yet, so it's really tough cutting conditions. These knives are, these knives probably have around 120 to 150 acres on them. They need flipped over. And I'll get another 120 to 150. Now, a box of knives will cost me about $100. You can see the kind of cut it's putting on the, on the hay. What little hay there is, leaving very little on the ground. And I'd say this hay is much, mostly grass. There is some alfalfa, but not much. And as all of you know, short, short hay, especially grass hay, cuts really hard. It's doing a pretty darn outstanding job. My neighbor stopped by this morning. They can't cut hay because the wind's blowing. I'd say the wind is blowing probably sustained wind of about 25 to 30. And that's not shutting me down because I'm running a mower. Just another advantage to getting rid of, rid of a wind drawer, which we had prior to this. I honestly don't understand why anybody still has a sickle operated machine. Um, the mower is hands down faster. I can cut down about 120 acres a day easily. And I can flip knives over my lunch break. It takes about 20 minutes to flip the knives over or replace them. So that's just another awesome thing about this mower. I grease the mower every time I fill up. Which is about, if I run hard for a full day, you know, put in 10, 12, 14 hours, the tractor's gonna need, probably need fuel just so that I can put in another full day the next day. I mean, I won't be empty, but. So this combination's just worked awesome for us. And I can tell you between the tractor and the mower, I bet you I have around 25% of the cost of a new, a new uh, windrower, swath or whatever you want to call it. And I'm faster. So I just wanted to share that with you, show you that this Vermeer can mow short hay. Um, it's very efficient really does not require any maintenance except for blades once in a while, grease. Uh, had great dealer support for all of, all of our Vermeer equipment. And I just couldn't be happier with this, with this purchase. I mean, we really didn't know something this awesome even existed. And I'm sure glad we were able to find, find this piece of equipment. It, it really has changed. You know, I'm a family guy, I've got young kids, and I would spend an hour and a half to two hours a night servicing a sickle-operated machine. And I don't have that problem anymore. I just get two hours of my day back every day, just from switching brands. Not to mention we put up better hay because of how quickly we can mow it down, rake it up, and get it in a bale. The longer your hay sits on the ground, the more chance you have to get that hay blown away. Um, just have bad things happen to it, get rained on, whatever. There's just nothing really good that comes from leaving hay on the ground longer than you need to. So, I mean, and that's a huge advantage, you know, like today, with the winds the way they are. If I had hay in a, in a windrow, there's a good chance if I had a hard crosswind, it'd blow it away. 
but we haven't raked blown windrows in probably four years now. It just doesn't happen anymore. 